let's have a look. We've got M, A, Q, O, J, R. We've got V. We've got N. We've got T, L, another A, Y and S. So if any of these letters are in your name or, or as well as, these numbers are significant to you. This one's kind of called up. Okay, so we've got seven, seven, zero, and six. So this could be digits in a phone number, it could be birthdays, it could be registration numbers. So if these numbers or these letters are significant, then this reading is for you. If not, then please scroll on. So let's see what the cards have in store. So this is what you need to know for Thursday. What do you need to know for Thursday? Let's have a look. So the first thing we've got here is the Seven of Pentacles, which basically represents hard work. Don't know if you've been working towards a goal or you feel that work at the moment is just a bit too much, but there is a very strong focus on trying to keep your pentacles afloat. Can you see there in the river within my tarot card? So it's as if you are trying to keep hold of things at work, maybe juggling things. There might be a specific person as well who is putting pressure on you. This could be somebody from your position at work or it could be somebody externally but you feel a lot of pressure it could even be you know the fact that you need to do your housework and all you keep doing is is working so there's an external piece of pressure there and what it's saying is try to release that pressure try to find a solution um, because it's kind of like can you see there we've got the we've got the two here can you see here we've got the two pillars. So it's basically saying that things are a little bit of a struggle at the moment, but you can see the moon in the horizon there in the corner. So it's basically saying that things are gonna progress as you move forward. We've also got teamwork here. We've got three of pentacles, which basically represents teamwork. And it's trying to say to you, just recognize that sometimes we need other people to achieve what we need to in life. Wow, look at this. We've got the ace of pentacles. We've got lots of pentacles that have come out here. So it's basically saying, if you, how can you ever get to where you want to get to if you aren't breaking down the goals? Okay? This is what the ace of pentacles is saying is, you know, Really look at goal setting. Try and focus on your main goal and then break it down into steps and daily work towards this goal is what it's trying to say. We've got an event as well recently and I'm seeing, sensing it's sort of been the last couple of weeks. There's been an event that has kind of struck you a bit like, can you see the tower there? The lightning is striking. So something a bit shocking has entered your life over the last couple of weeks. We've got the two of cups here. So I'm seeing love, something shocking in love. This could have been an argument or it could have been the fact that you've had a revelation. And let's see what the next card is just to get more clarity. We're seeing balance and we're seeing waiting. It's like you're waiting for something in this particular relationship or this particular romance. Wow, that's what you're waiting for. So if you're in a relationship, it means you're waiting for it to get stronger. It might mean that you've been arguing recently. If you're not in a relationship, it can mean that you're waiting for love or perhaps in a situationship, you're waiting for someone to provide that cup there. This is breadcrumbing as well. And breadcrumbing can happen even if we're in a relationship. And it's basically saying that just be wary of somebody not giving their absolute 100%. So on this Thursday, I'd love you to just reflect on everything that I've said and know that justice and judgment will be served.